Okay, so now that we're a little bit more familiar with the basic user interface of Grasshopper, I want to introduce you to the second key part of Grasshopper, which is components. We already hit on these a bit in the first lecture. But these are the lifeblood of any script that you will make, and they often look like this. They often look like a little battery uh, that looks like this. So these components are algorithms. They are things that take in a certain input and give us a certain output. And I want to introduce you to first, how do we find components and give you a few examples of those. So as we discussed in lecture one, we can go to these tabs at the top, this toolbar menu here, and look for various tools that can help us create things. So if I go into curve, for instance, and I go into primitive, I will see a whole bunch of little tools here that I can create, uh, can I, I can utilize as part of my script. So if I click on circle, for instance, and I drop it, before we had dropped something that was an addition component, uh, if we hover over the top of it even, these little menus come up to tell us what goes on, what does this tool do for us. Circle will do the same thing. Circle will bring up a little menu that says what this guy does for us. So effectively, these are called, these little things, they are called components. And they are critical because they take in certain inputs and give us certain outputs, which as you know from the basics course of computational engineering is a key part of algorithmic engineering that is the definition of an algorithm something that takes in an input and gives us an output so as you can see here grasshopper comes full of different algorithms out of the box that you can use right away in previous lectures of course we had talked that grasshopper is integrally connected to a software called rhinoceros which is effectively a modeling software a geometrical modeling software so it should come as no surprise that there are a lot of geometrical based tabs here vector curve surface all of these different things are there because we're trying to use uh, grasshopper and rhino together but of course there are other pieces of information there like and for us as engineers mathematics is a huge one lots and lots of different op mathematical operators uh, that come out of the box with grasshopper so no matter what you do uh, you will have plenty of these types of algorithms that you're able to use uh, that are fresh out of the box they're called components and as we go through the course I will often say let's try and find a component to do a, B, C, uh, fill in the blank. So that is one way of finding components is to come up here and to just start uh, looking through the tabs for the different types of tools that you're looking for. So for instance, if I was looking for something to intersect different geometrical objects, the intersect tab would seem like a great place to start. Um, but potentially, I don't know exactly where to look in those tabs. So the second place that you can find components is to double click the canvas, double right click the canvas. So if I double click right here, you see a little Google search window comes up. And this is one of the key tools that you'll often see me using as we go forward in this course, because it's very useful. Because if I want to, just like I created the circle component before down here, I can now create it again by just typing circle. So you can see here what I've actually managed to do is I've actually managed to look at all of the different algorithms that have circles in their titles for the the name of the algorithms so this is really important because sometimes uh, there's multiple types of algorithms for a certain type of object and you can see here in the case of circles that we actually have multiple things at our disposal so uh, one of the things that people often will do as a beginner is you will be very tempted to jump straight in and grab the first one that you see and I've seen this many many times and uh, as you can see here uh, someone who clicks this one will obviously see just geometrically that it's a different uh, it's a different component than the other one so we're gonna get into this in a lot more detail in the next lecture 
first things first, before we go to the next lecture, let's just recap. There are two primary ways for you to find components. Components are algorithms that help you build up a more complicated algorithm. The first one is to come up here to these upper tabs and search for buttons that actually look like they're the right algorithms for you. The second is to double click the canvas and type in whatever you want uh, to be able to find the right tool.